Okay, this is uh, another video I'm posting about um, how to program a BCM without going to the dealer. Okay, I post a video before and I'm attempting to post this one. Maybe this will be shorter and easier. Okay, so Saturn View SUV. Uh, 2002 I will show you the engine you see the engine right here it's a 3.0 liter okay I'll walk around the side of it so you can see it okay Saturn view you see the back okay it's a v6 all-wheel drive 2002 saturn view okay um get in the vehicle now okay now all right let's see if you can get this thing on the roll all right i have right here a BCM is called a body control module this control your locks your lights your dome lights it control your gauges all your gauges your gas gauge your speed armature the RPMs the temperature uh, temperature gauge okay all right I have the keys right here in my hand I'm gonna put them in the ignition okay um, I'm let the sun visor down it's a lot of sun it's, it's sunny here in Charlotte North Carolina it's like 73 degrees 74 but anyway I'm gonna turn the uh, key on okay if you've seen the gas gauge see it went up all right and you see the temperature gauge work okay this vehicle starts up um before my old uh bcm uh the gauges wasn't working at all okay i'm gonna make this video as short as i can the dealer the GMC dealer, Chevy dealer, whatever you want to call it, they charge you like 150 to program the BCM. In fact, they discontinue the BCMs. They don't even make them anymore. And uh, they cost like $400 for some change. That's not including the uh, programming. But I figure out a way... I am an auto mechanic technician how to program it myself without the dealer all right you notice the key is still on okay I'm gonna put my foot on the brake I have the console popped up right here what I do is I put it in put it in gear and I'm taking this piece off Okay, uh, I gotta move my, my iced tea, I want it to spill, move that out of the way. Okay, reason why I'm gonna put this other BCM in right here, which is used, I got it from the junkyard, because my key remote, here's my key remote, I mean, so you can see, you can see it right here, it's not um, locking my doors I gotta lock them right here with my hand I hope the video is not too bright because it's sunny out I have to push the lock right here on the driver's side but anyway I will um, oh my god I gotta move my wires for my camera yes I record while I'm driving the way these people drive in this city is ridiculous right, so um I'm gonna move this to the side 
this console right here moving this to the side all right i got the gear shift down all the way down so i can have room to take the other bcm out pull the brake up so i can take my foot off to get um the brake all right here's my other bcm okay just to let you know if you unplug don't never unplug take the battery cables off your battery and if you got a bad bcm because if you do your car will start back up you have to keep the cable uh, the terminals off the positive and the negative overnight and then you put them back on the next day and the vehicle will start up but the program this other bcm which they charge you $150 to do, you could do it yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. The key is still on. You see the gauges are still, it's the gas gauge, temperature gauge. All right, now you see me. I'm unplugging one plug. That plug is out. Number two plug is out. Everything went off. You see it? All right. Three plugs. And this last plug is a pain in the neck to get out. It's really a pain in the neck to take that plug out. This last plug right here is really hard to come off. I usually take a screwdriver and pop it out. Okay, hold on. Okay, it's out. All right, you see me? I'm gonna take this one out, set it up here on the dashboard. Okay, it's my other BCM. Put that in there. I'm gonna plug the one that's tough to get to first. Plug that one up first. That's one. Okay. Plug two. Come on. Plug three. Plug four. And my lights came back on. The temperature gauge came back up. Okay. I'm going to put it in gear. My door's unlocked. And I'm going to start it up. car is actually running um, my ABS light is on oh yeah because I got the brake up okay all right the car is actually running okay why is my brake light on uh, this particular um, this BCM showing 200 and 11,000 and 211,376 miles. All right, I'm gonna get out of the car so you can hear it running. The car is, uh, the truck is actually running. Okay, it's running. All right. Uh, let's see if my locks work. Okay. Uh, I know the video is moving all over the place, but this is going to help you guys out. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Let's see what's going on. See if they work. No. I think it's really a security problem with my security system to keep flashing. Well, I'm going to have to look further into why my remote is not working, but it worked before with another BCM. 
But anyway, um, this concludes my video of how to program a body control module, which is called a BCM. Because anytime when you unplug this without this car being the key on, it will lose all memory to everything and you will have to get it programmed through the dealer. But, like I said, you can do it yourself exactly how I did it. Make sure you turn that key on and then you unplug everything and plug it back in. Do not do not turn that key off. Turn it on and start it. And it will run in the program itself. The dealer not going to tell you that, but I am because I was struggling trying to figure out where I was going to get the money from. Money is tight. And no one really, it's not too many people that care for each other in this world. This world got worse. But me, myself, I hope this video will help you out. Um, if you like the video, if you want to send me a thank you, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera so you can see who I am. Hi. Uh, so, but this concludes my video. Take care. God bless.